the next version of Windows 11, 25H2, is here. And it's officially confirmed by Microsoft. This is the official blog post from Microsoft. Here they talk about the Windows 11, 25H2. And this is going to be available for everybody later this year, starting from October. Maybe they will time it with the end of support for Windows 10. And if you want to try this right now, it is now available in the Windows Insider Preview channel. And this also means that we are not going to see the Windows 12 this year, maybe next year. And this update, the 25H2, is a small update. As they say here, upgrading to 25H2 is going to be as easy as quick restart if you're already on Windows 11 24H2. This basically means the next version of Windows 11, the 25H2, is based on 24H2, and it is going to be a small update. Microsoft calls this process a feature updates via servicing. Basically, when the 25H2 is ready, you'll get a small update which will enable the 25H2 version and the new features. That's it. But if you're not on 24H2, that means it's going to be a huge update. Like if you're on 23H2 or 22H2. All the new features that are going to be available in version 25H2 are already available in 24H2. So you basically have to enable them. So again, basically you'll get a small update package that will enable all these features. So actually I'm already on Windows 11 25H2. I recently upgraded from 24H2 to 25H2 and it took me literally one minute. It was a very small update. So if I go check the update history here, you can see feature update one. And this was the package which enabled uh, the 25H2. Again, it literally took one minute. So if I go into about section here, you can see I'm already on 25H2. So yeah, it's small update again if you're already on 24H2. And I think most people already know one of the biggest change in 25H2 is going to be the new start menu. We have a pinned section and we have a all section here. Uh, the apps are in the category, okay? So we have a productivity, utility and tools, other games, creativity, accessibility. You can also change the view, let's say grid, okay, the default view basically. The all apps section is removed and it is now like in one page, you can find all your apps without going into the next page, okay? So we have list, similar to grid actually, and I think the category is the best one. Here you'll find all your apps pretty easily because it's categorized. So yeah, this is going to be the one of the biggest change in 25H2. And obviously there are going to be many other smaller changes uh, coming to 25H2, uh, including the improvements and whatnot. Think of this as a 24H2. Uh, it is just going to change the version. That's it. Okay, there isn't going to be a whole lot of things other than improvements and all that. If you're already using the Windows Insider program, you can get this version of Windows 11 right now. You can see I'm on dev channel and it's the Windows 11 25H2. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.